For people with port wine stain birthmarks, laser surgery is one way to soften the appearance. Treatment can be uncomfortable though, and in the past, some doctors recommended waiting until a child was a few years old and could better tolerate anesthesia. Ursula Perry shows us new improvements to laser devices though, means for some, the earlier the better. 19-month-old Riley Shahigian is in a constant motion, but even in those rare times when she's still, it's hard to see the red birthmark she was born with that covers the left side of her face. They said, oh, it's just bruising from, from the labor and the birth, but it didn't go away. Dermatologists diagnosed the port wine stain birthmark when Riley was just five days old. Five days later, doctors began treatment. For her sake, we wanted to treat her, and we wanted to treat her young. Um, she, hopefully she'll never remember what she went through. Using a device called the V-beam laser, doctors delivered quick pulses to the red area of Riley's face. The laser goes through the skin, heats up the blood, that heat expands and destroys the in the lining of the vessel and hopefully destroys the vessel wall. The laser, seen here during an adult treatment, allows doctors to treat a section about the size of a dime and then repeat until they've lasered the entire birthmark. The treatment of an infant Again, it's safe, but it does have a, a feel of a, of a rubber band snapping on the surface of the skin. Dr. Bernstein says the updated laser device makes treatment easier on patients since it's faster with no need for anesthesia. Here's what Riley's birthmark looked like before and after more than a year of treatment every few weeks. The fact that someone can't recognize it, that's the goal. That's the hope. Da, 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 da. Hi, Riley. Other things have been tried, like radiation freezing and surgery in order to get rid of port wine stains. But this particular therapy, the laser therapy, is the only one that has actually come up with a way to get rid of the malformed blood vessels without hurting the skin. Ursula Perry, KSAT 12 News.